with a lot of the PCs here, the button turn it on is on the front. This one it's not however, it is you can see just in here. So you've got to put your finger in the back bit there and turn it on. It's really hard to do, even really hard to capture a video. So I'm going to let this up here and have to do it. So the next time I turn it on, I have to just fumble it and try and find my turn it on. So all I've done is I've made a little label here. It's got an arrow pointing exactly where to go. So you put your finger down about there. You can find the switch very easily. Just a quick improvement from Jake and I. Uh, so we've moved the office scales and the document pouches onto this wall here. Previously, we had them on the lamination station and the document pouches were just on my desk. So we've moved them here so that they're together. This is for whenever we're sending anything internationally that I need to weigh and then attach uh, invoices for. So that will save a lot of time having it all in one place and not all this walking about. Thanks very much and thank you Jake for your help and Marius for powder coating them. Now the can bands are made for the bathroom. I need somewhere to put them once they've been ordered. So what you do is, when you got down to 24 rolls, pick this up, scan that QR code, that goes to the purchasing email, we order it, and you stick it on here. So all that is, is a piece of metal on the door, with a lean label on top, pop four can bands, easy. Joint improvement between May and Marius here, so what we wanted was all the tall wall stuff to be on his powder coat stock sheet as well. So what we've got here, a little checklist so you can make sure he's ordered things when he needs them. There's no stock on here because he's managing the stock based on what's in the boxes. So here he can print a tall wall can van, so all he's got to do is enter the ID number, so let's say it's the blue roll holder one, generates quantity to order, where's the blue can van, and all your details you need. Another improvement with Marius here, so we want to get rid of the ones that just have the ID number on and put a photo, so we can do some of that now. Starting to work on the new labels, we've got a photo there, we've got some skewed nice and big, no description what it is. All of this rack here is done. And we've started working on our racks. We're wondering why this one aren't done. It's because currently they're mixed boxes about two different skews in it. What we've got is another one of these purple trolleys on order, so once that's made, we'll be able to separate all the purple trolleys into single skews and we'll be able to label the rest of the purple boxes. For IV1701, which are basically the latches that are left from the locks, which originally come uh, that we use for the uh, IV259 parcel boxes. So I'll get a campaign. For folding. Then now I have a Kanban for the latches to be folded. And I can take it straight to folding and it will come back to be packing, folded and ready for parcel boxes. The glue gun drips on the bottom of the hold, so we use bits of card just to collect all the mess. Now I have a little box with little cats, off cats, just in a box, on a magnet, right next to the glue gun for when you need to refill it and change it. The glue slags in pre-packing one have finished and what I've been doing so far is using this card with a plastic to a bit of acrylic on the magnet to slide across whenever the uh, glue gun slags have been ordered but I do tend to push it off, lose a bit of acrylic so now how about two glue slags they don't have a can bind, there was no ordering for this side there's nothing under the box so I will make a big can bind so now the glue slags have a Kanban underneath it on an orange tray and that's where you stick the Kanban when you do order it. The tape dispensers at the lasers were all pretty knackered so I've just replaced it with some nice new ones and I've labelled each one to say which laser it came from. Right, I noticed on this uh, shelf I'm upstairs there's no name of the big tubby bags. The sellotape, the packing tape, the paper or the string so I'm going to prove that. Right, now I'm pleased that now the shelf from upstairs now all good standard. Now the bags all labelled, the set tape now labelled, the pack tape now labelled, the moist paper is now labelled and also the pack of strings now labelled. It's all good. Keep the way tight. Thank you. Right, before I put it back here, I'm going to name it what it is and where it's going to support from. So I'm going to put it back a lot better. Right now I'm pleased that thanks to Jake, now I've got a caravan to what it is and a barcode to scan to watch them all. All good. Now I can stand it. Thank you. My WD 40 bottle keeps going walkabout, so got another one all labelled up, back in place. Thank you. So, just stuck some labels on the three phase leads we've got sitting around down here. This is getting a bit confusing which one to plug in. So to complete the bathroom duty each morning you need one, two, three blue towels. I've had no standard done for that, but I have put one on now. So each shelf needs three times blue towels. Put a few more in circulation to make sure we have got three per day. But yeah, easy improvement. Improvement in the office here, so earlier we sent a pallet to FBA and we did the wrong thing again at this point here. 
So we've only done it with the wrong step when we got down to here and we've already printed out 90 labels. So we've got an FBA, now, uh, FBA SOP now, so we know what to do next time. Okay, so these two items have been out in the yard for a little while, and obviously this is the first thing that people see when they come for a tour. Uh, so today, Liam and Slavic kindly helped me, and we got these sorted and moved out of the way into a new home. Okay, so a few people come in and change their boots in the morning, but there's nowhere to actually sit and change it, so I'm going to improve it. Here's the after. Just made this little bench to make it easier for anyone changing their boots. Thank you. I keep my phone close at hand if I ever need to check anything on our website. So instead of just leaving it on the desk here, I've got a handy phone holder so I can leave it there now, out of the way. Thank you. That's a great job. Great job, everyone. Thank you very much.